Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be beginning to set up our health regeneration pickup. So what I mean by that is we'll be going over how to create a pickup that when our player goes over the pickup, so effectively they interact with the collision and pick up the item, they will regain health. So in this episode, we'll be looking at integrating that into our game by importing the model, creating the textures, well, importing the textures and creating the material, and then also creating the blueprint, or at least the start of it. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm not going to call this meshes. And I'm going to create a new folder that we call pickups. And in pickups, I'm going to create a final folder named base. And in base is where we will import our objects. So I'm going to provide you with some stuff. And this stuff will be a health icon and a pickup base. And you'll see I also have these textures. So I need to import this health pickup as an FBX and Unreal Engine will just import that and ask me how I want to import it. I'm going to turn up generate collision, but I'm going to import everything else. And as this health pickup, I do not want any collision because this is just something that will be part of a general collision that the player can pick up. And this pickup base, which I will also provide you with, is something that we also don't want to generate the collision for because we will generate a simpler version. So at the moment, this is sort of the model we have a look at. If you see, there is no under base to save geometry. And we, if we go to collision, we can add box simplified collision that will add a box around the mesh. From there, I'm going to also provide you with four textures. And these four textures will be the textures needed to create the base. Okay, this health pickup and health pickup material, I'm also going to move to the general pickups folder away from the base as they are not a part of it. So double click in the material to open. I'm going to come to this screen. And as you saw, I had a parameter there, which I'm not going to need. Instead, I'm going to need some texture samples and these are going to provide us with the base color another one will provide us with the roughness and another one will provide us with the normal so for the top one I'm going to get the albedo which is the base color without any shadow information the next one I'm going to bring in is our normal map which is this one at the bottom which when we plug in will affect the light in certain ways as to look like our pickup base and the last one will be our metallic roughness. Now the great thing about this map is it's actually optimized to load in two maps as one. So what I mean is the red, green and blue channels provide us with our metallic map. So we can just plug in using that at the top and the alpha map provides us with our roughness. So this means we get the benefits of our two maps, metallic and roughness, with the optimization of one map loaded in. Now the next thing we need is an emissive color, as this base is going to emit a light depending on if it is active or inactive. So to do that we need a texture sample, and we need to get this mask. So we're going to bring this in and we're also going to get a constant 3 vector and this 3 vector we're going to right click and convert to parameter which we'll call emit color and using this we can select a color for the base to emit. So when it's active I want to emit a blue light. So I'm going to select blue and then I'm going to hold them and left click to multiply both this blue and this mask together. Once these have been multiplied together, then I want to hold S and left click to bring in a scalar parameter, which I'll call emit strength. And we'll set it to a default value of around 5. Holding M and left click, I will multiply this new mask which is generated by the multiplication of the mask and the color and the emit strength 
and place this into my emissive color. And as you can see in these areas here, the mesh is now emitting a blue light. However, it isn't particularly bright because it's having this metal color underneath it. So to get around that, what we need to do is take this multiplied mask that we now have and do a linear interpolation with this base color. So if we get a linear interpolation with a math, we can plug this into A, plug this into B, and then the map we used, we can plug it into the alpha. And if you use this arrow to see how this map looks, you'll see that we now have these blue lines of the emission plus this overall base color and now that will provide us with our new base color. Plug that in and you'll see we have much stronger emission strength of the color and the same colors as we did beforehand. So click and apply and bring it in the base to the world. You can see we now have this strength, this strong emission and the overall metallic color provided with the textures. Now we need to create our blueprint for it. But before we do that, we have our health pickup material. And this one is much simpler than the last. So we're gonna use this constant three vector. So we'll get our constant three vector and we're going to do the arcade style health pickup of red. So we'll just put one into red and zero into green and blue plug that into our base color. We'll also use a multiply node and hold S and left click for a scalar parameter, which we will then call emit strength. Give a default value of around five again and multiply these together before connecting them into the emissive color. And now you see we have this solid red color with this emissive boundary around it. So for the last bit of this tutorial, we're going to create our pickup template blueprint. So for our blueprint class, we're going to want a new actor. I'm going to name this pickup. In pickup, we want two components. We want two static mesh components. We'll name the top one pickup base parent the second one to pick up base and we'll name this pick up and give this a default value of our health pick up and the pick up base the static mesh default of PU base and now we can work on how we're going to use this so I'm going to set the Z location of our pick up to 1 meter or 100 centimeters in the Z axis above our base and the reason for this is that when I drag it into the world and we'll move this up so the base is just underneath the ground you'll see that the cross is not in the way of the gun but is also visible easily to the player So for the last thing we need to do is we need to add a collision component and we're going to add component collision box collision and we're going to scale this in the Z axis to about something that covers both the base and the pickup. So we'll do about two in the Z and three in the X and the Y. That's actually a little big, so we can do 2 and 2, or 1.5 and 1.5 in the X and Y, and 2 in the Z. And now this covers the entire pickup base, so our player can interact with it. We'll also parent this to our pickup base, and we'll call this Box Collision. So I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't, is your opinions otherwise, you have any comments, questions, suggestions or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always you can hit me up on Twitter for easier communication which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97 and as always don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys.